Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday. You know what you're gonna do on Sunday? You cook with me? Yes. Today, I've got a special menu for you. I would love to share with you guys what I normally eat. It's a bit of fusion, but Thai of course. Don't worry about that. Okay? You're gonna love it. Hi guys, these are all my ingredients, what I have, okay? So let's start. I have the whole sea bream. Don't worry guys, I'm gonna show you how to fillet it from start to finish. And then we have a fresh whole mango. Cherry tomato, of course lemongrass, of course again chili, you're cooking with me, with chili. We have a carrot, courgette, whole lime, I have mint, fresh coriander. Now, we go into the sauces. I have sweet chili, Thai sweet chili of course, Thai soya. I have sesame oil, chicken powder. So now, all the equipment what you need, don't worry, I'm gonna give you a link. I have a grater, spurizer, a bit of small tray with the baking paper. Of course guys, this is very important, cost contamination green shopping board, blue shopping board for fish, okay? Cost contaminations. Okay, now let's start. Let's turn on the grill first. While you're gonna use the grill, I'm gonna use the grill from the oven, okay? Some house got the oven. Most of the house got the oven with the grill on the top. So, we're gonna do the grill. So, I'm gonna grill around 180. Just tasting a bit. Yeah, you can feel the heat from the top. That's a grill from the top, okay? Make sure you put the rack close to the grill on the top, but not too close. So now, what I'm gonna do, we're gonna start filling the sea bream first. Okay, okay now guys, I'm gonna put the fish, the shopping board, and then this is the fin. I take the fin out first. Yeah. There. Now, you got a head and a neck. What you gotta do, you cut along and then go along, you can feel, this is the bones, go along like that. Now, you can feel that, see that? This is the neck and you cut them off already. Go along with the top like that, okay? To the tail a bit, and then now turn. It depends on your left hand or right hand, and then now you see the bones there, cut through down there, yeah, and then go along, go along like that. See, go along. Make sure you have a sharp knife. It will work so much easier. Look at that. See. Now, you've got no waste. Maybe I waste a little bit, it's fine. See? Same again, and as I said, I'm gonna do only one fillet for myself. Yes, guys, now we turn over. Take the fin off again. Understand, guys, if you don't, you guys don't wanna fillet it, you, of course, I totally understand. You can buy already filleted in the supermarket. But I feel like um, I just want to show you guys because you buy the whole fish, you know, you, you feel safe, freshness and all that. And then you can, you're proud, you're proud when you feel it. You know how to feel it to fish, you know. You're proud of yourself. I'm proud of myself, you know. It's not just like, you know, it's good. Just so, let's stop that and then go along with like that again and go through the bone 
Again, guys, make sure the knife's very sharp. And then you feel your bone a little bit. And then use your hand helping a little bit. And then go. Go. Go down to the bones. Keep slicing it. See that? Go along. That's it. Yes? See? Look at that. You don't waste it at all. Oh, okay now guys, I'm gonna eat only one fillet today. I'm gonna show you only one fillet. Another one's for my son, he loves fish. And now very important is we have the bones. Fish head and the bones. Try not to bend it. You can make like fish stocks. It's super delicious. You can keep it in the fridge or freezer. Keep it in the back, put it in the freezer, when you fancy it. When you cook some dish, some something like seafood dish, you can use this for stock, fish stocks. Give you a tip. This fish, you can use, you can have celery, garlic, onions, these fish bones. Cook it, cook it for two hours. Get the juice out of it, get the stock out of it. And you can use the stock, you can make risotto, you can make perla. You can make any seafood dish. You know, this is good, okay? So now I'm gonna keep it with my fridge. Okay now guys, after you fill it to fish, just get your finger, fill the bones, just give you a tip. Fill the bones there. Sometimes you have tweezers, you can use tweezers, but I can use hand. Like that, feel it. Slow feel it, raise the bone, you can feel it. 100%, you will feel it. Just go along with it. Twist is much better, but I get used to it, so I use my other thing. Okay. Yeah, one there. Another one there. The last one there. Mm. Yeah, twist is much better. Yeah, last one. That's it. Okay, so you get it. Sea bream fillets. Okay, guys, so now what we do, we're gonna move on. I'm gonna watch my shopping board, wash my knife, and we're gonna move on to do the dressing, the glaze. What do you see? Okay. okay now, before I put fish away, what I'm going to do, I'm going to score them, three lines. So use your finger, this fillet, use your thumb, your finger there, pull it up a little bit, one, two, three. Yeah, just to, when you make the glaze, so you can put the glaze on top and then this dressing can go in there, more flavour. Okay, so we leave that on the side. Now, I'm gonna wash my knife. So guys, don't forget to wash your hand, wash your knife, cut your contamination, clean as you go, okay? So now, I'm gonna start it off with the fresh mango. I'm gonna cut head off, tail off. So I'll just give you a, a trick. Most people use a peeler, but if you get standing there, get a sharp knife, you just go along. I'll show you. Look. Let the knife work. I don't know, it depends if you feel comfortable with the peeler. It's up to you. It's the same. But I feel like knife is faster and then you get more you practice you can it's feel like you've got a knife skill on your by yourself, you know. It's like it's it's practicing. See? There we go. Bit of that, take it off. That's it. Look at that. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna slice up very thin to make a dressing. Yeah? Only one side until you heat 
slide until you hit the seat of the mango and then you stop and then another side quarter side but you leave another half for the garnishing okay so go again on the side until you hit the seat go along with it yeah another side yeah yeah so leave the other half there so what we're going to do now start together and we're going to dice them small dice okay as small as you as much as you can get okay just slide them up first if you're not comfortable just do one by one okay I'll show you the one That all together there, and then just dice, more dice. Okay. And just more dice. Okay. And plate. Okay, put first put lemongrass and chili first into the pan. Let it cook for a bit. 
get the flavour out. Look at that, you can feel the flavours. You can smell it straight away. You're going to add one, two, three, four, five, six teaspoons of Thai sweet chili, okay? And then you can add one, two, three teaspoons of soy sauce, okay? Then load it down a bit, let it simmer. And then you add mango. Let it be, let it cook for a bit. Nice. So, ready? So, now I put half teaspoon of chicken powder. Pinch a bit of coriander, like that. Yeah, make sure it's low heat. Get it simmer, carry on cooking for about 10 minutes. And then you get a bit of grater. Say some lime in there. Oh, look at that. Look at the flavor already. Mmm, fresh. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah? Stir in a bit. Now you kind of like get puree ready. Look at that, guys. Let it, let it be. Now, low heat, let it simmer. While we do that, we're gonna prep the vegetables, okay? So now we're gonna do courgette and carrot spiralizer. Yeah, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Open the top off, you got courgette. Place it in and then start slowly twisting, keep carry on pressing a little bit. Yeah, I'll keep going. Move them a little bit. Pressing as well. This thing is very useful guys. I'm gonna give you a link again. It's this everything really vegetables keep pressing amazing stuff this okay now drop it left pull it out a little bit I'm gonna keep this okay now guys so now you got a bit of seat there so we we really don't need it so get rid of it. So now all you have, look at that, beautiful spaghetti kajan. Look at that, beautiful. Look at that guys. It's become a, look at that guys now. It became a mango chutney glaze, ready to go. With the sea brim, beautiful, lovely, fresh, homemade. Mango chutney, juby stuff. Okay, now guys, for the carrots, you're just gonna graze it. You're not gonna do it spaghetti. Yeah? Raise it like that. Mm. 
turn it off. This should be ready now. Okay. Yeah. Don't waste it. Get most of it out. So now you cover it all up on a tray. Now we're going to put in the grill richly, I would say six minutes. Okay, now guys, the chutney on top of the skin side, skin side up. We're going to put on the grill about six, seven minutes. Six to seven minutes, okay? 180 degrees on grill. Okay, now. Put the time on. Now another side of mango. We're gonna make the garnish. We're gonna cut another half until you hit the seat again. There we go, all done. We're gonna dice it, nice square. Into square, small little dice, not too small. Same again, this bit. Okay, guys, like that. Okay, now. Okay, now, guys, now you got to walk. Full power. Second. Yeah, there you go. Full power. Let the pans get extremely hot, okay? And then we're going to do a jet carrots to go back. While we're waiting, guys, let me explain you this dish and um, cook it. I absolutely love it. For the summer, absolutely perfect. Easy to cook, but it's a bit of preparation. But you can eat up your family, the whole family, fresh, fresh ingredient, healthy. Ingredients, healthy. So now guys, the pan's very hot. A bit of sesame oil in there. Yeah. Straight away both. Carrots and gajet. Okay. Now you get a tong. Just a quick toss, okay? You don't have to cook all the way through. Done. Done. Guys, done. Okay? 10 seconds, done. 10 seconds, guys. Now, ready to go on the plate. Fresh. You don't want to overcook them. That's it. We're going to use the same pan, just quick wash. Now, we're going to shake the fish, okay? Turn it off. Look at that, guys. Wow. Wow. Look at that. With the chutney, cover it up. You see that? Perfect. Now, Again, what we're gonna do? Another sesame oil, just tiny bit. Cherry tomato. The last bit of mango. Oil, in. quick oil. In. Shop it. A bit of shop coriander on it. Toss it a little bit. Now, what you gotta do? Turn it off. Okay. 
Line, fresh line. In there. About half, if you like. That's it. Now that's it. Finish. Now next. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use a slicer. Careful guys, hot though. No rush. Yep, into that. Fantastic, look at that. And now, all the garnish. Citrus, lime juice, mango, bit coriander, oh, tomato. Look at that. I'm gonna finish with lime, it's like lime on top, and then mint chip. Okay, put on the top there. Then now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a bit of what I use. Sweet chili. It's around. Look at that, guys. Fresh, summery, sea bream salad. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next week. Love you all. From me to you. Bye bye.